Hello everyone, thank you for joining our webinar today. Um, this is brought to you by Acceleration IAS. The topic today we're going to be presenting about is overcoming the fear of enterprise, social, and education, predominantly using the platform of Yammer by Microsoft. And my name is Ali Cosby. I'm the presenter today from Acceleration, and I have a guest speaker from Microsoft, Steve Kane. He's a product manager for um, the Southwest region. Um, if you'd like to say something, Steve. Yeah, sure. Hey, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining the call today, and thank you, Ali, for inviting me to speak. Uh, excited to kind of share with you, explain to you what Yammer is, how it can benefit your educational environment, and uh, I'm excited to kind of partner alongside Acceleration today because they've been doing some great work with the enterprise social space. So I'll let Ali kind of kick it off from there. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. And um, let me just go ahead and uh, give you a bit of background information on Acceleration today. Um, we were founded in 2000. Predominantly, we're an IT consultancy firm that is a Microsoft managed partner. We initially started off with the whole Lotus Notes to SharePoint um, migrations and SharePoint deployment. So we've been um, through and through a SharePoint shop that is now like every organization moving to the cloud space, um, adventuring with enterprise social and Yammer and connecting that and the whole platforms through Windows Azure and also providing an internal Yammer solution and if clients do need an external social media marketing solution, we're able to provide those expertise as well. So we're going to be talking a lot about Yammer today, predominantly in the education space. Um, essentially, what is Yammer? Um, Yammer is an enterprise social network. You're going to hear the term ESN thrown around quite a lot today. Um, that is referring to enterprise social networking. Um, Yammer is initially an internal private network that can help your students connect amongst different de devices um, inter inside and outside of the education environment. Um, whether you're in the classroom or th connecting through a computer lab, students are able to collaborate and come together um, and also stay in touch with the p different officials within the organization and also the professors. Um, it helps students grow and engage and enhance their overall learning experience. Um, can you just go back a slide, I guess, to what is Yammer? So just to kind of also give myself a little bit more of an introduction, I'm in the Office 365 product marketing team in the United States, specifically focusing on enterprise social, our partners, so partners like Acceleration who are building businesses around getting our customers to adopt Yammer in order to change culture of their potential customer, which could be a university uh, or another type of educational institution, and to solve problems that the student bodies or the faculty or staff in this case is facing. So to give you even more context, I'm not sure in terms of the audience how much you really know about Yammer or its history, but this was a company Microsoft acquired about two years ago um, that started in San Francisco. And since then, we've integrated it into the full Office 365 suite. So you can purchase Yammer through Office 365 licensing. Uh, you can also use it for free, which is kind of the lower grade version if you want to get a kind of test out in terms of what it's like. Um, but there's a bunch of different options. But the way we think about Yammer and Enterprise Social at Microsoft is a really key ingredient in our full productivity story. And we see it as the kind of social, rapid information knowledge sharing platform that can really be attuned to the business problems that your organization is facing. And we usually mark this to businesses, but we also think that there's a great place for Yammer and education. Um, so I'm going to go into the next slide on that, but in terms of really kind of then going to what is Yammer itself, like Ali said, it's an enterprise social network. Um, that really helps your company or your organization stay on top of everything. So it's a one way is to stay in the know. It's collaboration and knowledge sharing tools really allow you to kind of stay connected to your coworkers, what information is being relayed. Instead of this kind of overabundant point solution that we use for email, this is kind of more of a new age form that your students would be more comfortable with. In this age of kind of social media, this is a way to apply that type of network generated communication and translate it internally for your organization. Um, 
if you were to go to yammer.com and you go to their about section, it kind of breaks this up in terms of the different features, um, how this can be a platform that you use not only on desktop from mobile across all type of uh, mobile platforms. So it's really staying aligned with that be productive from anywhere Office 365 message that we preach here uh, in a way that is new and unique to really change the culture of your organization to solve a business problem. With that being said, we see Yammer and education having a multitude of different benefits, and it depends what type of institution you are, what type of situations you're facing that can use an enterprise social network to solve potential problems and schisms. This may be anything from information not being relayed from students to faculty enough, fast enough. Or this could be students aren't interrelating or feeling connected to their uh, fellow students when they go outside the classroom. Um, Ali, am I, uh, can I keep going or are we on a time Yes, frame? of course. No, definitely. Um, if I may chime in on what you were just saying, you're on a sure. good note about um, engaging every student. And that's essentially a key role in um, em embedding Yammer within the classroom environment because it's allowing a student to step out of their boundaries and essentially try to communicate with um, whether it be their professors or um, in different forms of education in middle school or elementary school or um, within university there's different department heads and officials that like to stay involved with the school and offer incentives and see what the knowledge experts are and um, it allows for students to enhance and showcase what their specialities are and help everyone together collaborate and come together on things that they possibly may need another expert on. So it definitely allows for a more collaborative and um, holistic um, um, education experience within the education environment. Yeah, no, I, can I build off that and give maybe two examples to kind of yeah. put this like theoretical explanation to something that they could uh, frame in actuality. And I'll give you an example. So I actually graduated from college about 18 months ago. So the troubles, I guess, in terms of communicating with different groups and organizations and my teachers uh, at university still kind of is in the back of my mind. And I think Yammer would be this amazing approach. Because for me, I was in student government. I was in a Greek organization, and then I was involved in this public policy uh, leadership program. And each of them had their different ways of communicating. One preferred, I think, a Facebook group. One preferred email. One had their own website. And all of this was a little disjointed and was hard for me to kind of manage. But when I think about what Yammer can do to really revolutionize the way we communicate and connect in education, I see this as a place where every group organization on campus could create their own group in Yammer. So every fraternity or sorority could create their own group. Every type of sports organization could create their own group. And you can make it private or public depending on the level of transparency you want to have because not every single form of information you may want to share with everyone broadly. Um, but all of this can be managed in one central, central communication platform that also spans to mobile. So for me, I would be checking my email all the time on my phone from all these different organizations. But if I had Yammer, I can have the mobile app, regardless of what smartphone I use, and be able to check, oh, here's what my fraternity is doing tonight, and we're having a philanthropy event later, and I know at this time they want to go. And people can like that. People engage with that. Or, oh, I can see that the... Um, African Dance Club is having a performance at 2 p.m. at the auditorium that I otherwise wouldn't know about, which I think really connects the student body, as the slide kind of says. Or, depending on what you want to solve for your educational community, it could be different. Perhaps the head of the sociology department has a tough time kind of connecting the rest of the teachers with the students around final paper um, questions. Yammer, in that case, could be an open feedback forum where any student could answer, ask a question. Perhaps other students would have that question, and the teachers in real time could be able to answer them instead of them having to check all these different emails and all these different questions that different students may have. So. From the university standpoint, I just wanted to give that backdrop in terms of, okay, here's like how, what we, how we think about Yammer, but here now is ways that you could actually apply it uh, to make your organization more effective. Right, definitely. And I could 
um, definitely see that need fit into a university environment. And so I've been able to see how the solutions we've been working on and building could actually apply in a actual real time classroom setting. So I'm glad you mentioned that. Thanks, Steve. So moving on to academic culture, just to let you know that also Yammer is COPA and SEPA compliant with K through 12 educational institutes. Um, this is a key um, benefactor towards these um, lower education institutions with the need to um, keep information safe and all the data safe and compliant with um, all the platforms. Also, the data within Yammer is very secure. Um, it's passed all certifications and data protection acts are completely compliant with the data protection as well. Um, you can also, to keep your data even more protective and consolidated, there's different features and functionality that are available for your classrooms um, to keep certain password policies and um, enforce different policy and procedures with um, what's posted and what should be said within your environment as well. Um, essentially, there's the functionality of a usage policy um, which can be implemented from the administrators of a university that can enforce their policy and procedures of um, their institutions and what's required and what's the overall purpose for that um, institution since it varies amongst different universities what they would like out of their Yammer environment you can post and make sure this is accepted upon joining the network for the first time so this could be something that could be followed up on um, if you were to if a professor were to use this as an exam or just a couple questions for the test to make sure that people are making the correct use out of their Yammer environment also from an administrative perspective um, there are keyword monitoring features. Um, since Yammer is a more raw, organic, and self-grown um, platform, um, it's not easy to continuously control what people are trying to say all the time. So it would be very good to put some monitoring features and um, indications on what keywords you would like to monitor if, um, and also try to reduce any risk that may happen within the network. And now from this, we're going to be moving into a demo. We've created a hypothetical music university, as we like to call it, um, demo. And here we'll be able to showcase some of the things that we've been talking about. So here's our music university demo. Um, as you can see here, as we were talking at the about the student body, the different organizations, and um, different parts of the university with the classrooms or either faculty organizations, um, you can create each group to cater each need. And you can set different... Um, restrictions as well on it. If you were to be a faculty group um, within Yammer, you can set it to be a private group where only certain um, members could join and see the group and make it available on the Active Directory, which would be dependent upon the administrator's choice. Um, for a classroom setting, it's very easy, as you can see, for students to collaborate and communicate across any subject or any assignment that may have been posted from the um, professor or teacher. And you can see that the professors have made the information very easily accessible on the right access sidebar. And they can also set um, pre-existing nicknames the students would like to get their, go their grades uh, posted to the Yammer so they each would have their own individual nickname. And they can go in here and they can view, they can view the data sheet and download it down and then make comments about it, thank you or great, or if they want to have an appointment with the professor, they can post it here too. And moving back to the home page, you can see that if you're an administrator as well, there's features and different usages that an administrator could monitor their network by. And by doing this, they can look at their dashboard. And by viewing the dashboard, they're able to go through the analytics section, view um, spikes within engagement to see what um, what assignments because we're also benefiting internally as far as um, process and academic building and if the curriculums are suiting um, the students needs so this also allows from a from a internal self enhancement perspective from the academic institutions they can also view different messages how many were posted in private messages as well what groups are most active and this is a network that was one of our demos previously so the de the data might have quite diffused over a period of time. However, it would spike up as soon as we start interacting again. And the network resources on the side is a qu the quick access link that I mentioned. That is a good way to check, a, make it as like a bulletin board for your university. Check the events. You can see um, what the office is posting as far as announcements, student club announcements, um, bulletin boards, and so on and so forth. 
And Steve, did you want to chime in on this? Yeah, sure. No, absolutely. I think, um, you know, there's a multitude of different use cases for Yammer, and there's so many different exciting features, whether it's for the admin, being able to track the usage and the group flow and the conversations that are happening on the back end to make sure that, you know, you launching this worked and you can go into those numbers and analyze how to make it more effective or for the user there's a variety of different ways um, and actions you can take to make this beneficial to you um, you know on this what I was kind of referring to earlier which I think is one of the more fundamental uh, value propositions around Yammer is how easy it is to just create your own group you know you can create your own group right there you can join other groups and these are the different conversations that you can see going on um, based on what you're a part of and what you care about and all of the message messages that are posted will be aggregated in the main feed you see here so even if you're not a part of um, you know some organization or club on campus that you're not in the group itself, you, they can make an announcement here and you'll be able to see it. And then I think the, the mode of post flow, so you being able to like, share, comment, I, at mention each other, that's really what's like kind of game changes Yammer as a platform versus traditional communication um, services. So you can, if you're in a conversation with uh, someone or you want to include someone in a conversation about a different uh, a meeting that's going to be having later today, or you want to tell a group of your students who specifically had the same question around a homework assignment, you can at mention them and they'll get a notification. And then if they want to kind of share that insight, they can do so with the share button. So there's just a lot of unique forms and creative ways to disperse information and knowledge and what's great about acceleration as a partner is that they understand at a deep level have gone through training are certified to know what these idiosyncrasies are and to really be able to examine what the situation is on your campus or wherever your school is and say okay here are the problems that you guys are having my recommendation would be then to speak to these people they kind of know how to scope out what it is Yammer can, what it is you're solving, then be able to piece together the right type of approach for you to get Yammer set up, then to also launch it internally and drive adoption of the platform. So that's kind of my piggyback off you, Ali, in terms of uh, the demo. Thank you. Thank you very much on that. And as you were mentioning too, um, from this, we're going to proceed back into the presentation and talk more, talk more about the use case introduction that you just posed. So, um, thank you for that, Steve. And moving on to a Yammer case study. This is one of the most famous case studies that Yammer's posted that um, is essentially one of my favorite that helped um, me when we were developing the overall solution and our approaches to um, coming up with different strategies and different deployment and adoption strategies for um, each education institution that we've w been working with. So when I was um, analyzing the overall Valeric Business School, which is a business school in Europe that is helping um, take Yammer beyond the point in education within classroom. It's um, essentially helping different students and teachers to bring together um, their lessons and what essentially needs to be done um, within the classroom, also outside of the classroom, and students can also pre prepare a bit before they even get in the classroom. Um, with different types of um, education platforms out there, there's not one that is actually strictly really internal, but then has different features that actually integrate within the rest of the Microsoft, Microsoft Office suite, which um, makes Yammer more of an easier deployment when um, people are quite familiar with the other offerings that Microsoft has. So with that being said, Microsoft is offered in um, the Office 365 Education E1 plans for faculty um, and students. It's essentially free. Um, it's also offered in the Office 365 Education E3 SKU. Uh, for, stu for students, it's um, $2.50 per user per month. And for faculty, it's uh, $4.50 per user a month. 
And with this, um, it's essentially there's different um, setup and deployment um, strategies that will be involved in taking place depending on how complex the environment if it, where it's hosted and um, how many domains you have pointing towards your actual um, Yammer network. There are different trainings and methodologies um, that both parties may want set up. So essentially, we'll work with um, universities to help find what types of training would suit them and how to roll that out. And um, essentially, there's different tier points and packages that we do offer. And I'd like to um, wrap that up. And um, thank you, everyone, for joining today. We'd like to open the floor up um, to a QA and a and um, hopefully give you a bit of time left um, back to you in the morning. And Steve, would you like to chime in? Yeah, I, I just wanted to kind of elaborate on that uh, the, the case study you mentioned, which is kind of one of our highlights. So that was a business school based in Belgium who companies in the area send them to. And so one of their students worked for a company that used Yammer. And that kind of inspired the student body there to say, hey, why don't we use Yammer as a way to feel more connected to our fellow students? At business school, a lot of people are networking and a lot of the learning comes outside the classroom. So they use it as a way to kind of first like introduce themselves as they're first coming to campus to kind of start a dialogue. And then it was also this kind of Think of it as like a classroom outside the classroom. So they took that digital class or that classroom environment and kind of tried to manifest it online through Yammer so they could ask questions to each other, understand what the key learnings were from a given class, share exciting news about the way they're thinking about their careers. And so it was a really interesting example of how kind of Yammer came into uh, develop a new way for their students to become more close knit, which I think is really interesting and goes back to how Yammer is really a technology that can facilitate cultural change that you may be wanting to uh, adopt. So that's kind of just what I wanted to start through there. I guess now we can go into uh, questions if anyone has, but I uh, just wanted to sign off with that. No, thank you for chiming in on that, Steve. I know that um, you had introduced the case study, so I'm glad that you were able to um, elaborate and bring some more light onto Vleric Business School's use case. Thank you, everyone, for joining out. We'd like to give you a bit of time back in your morning today, and um, you'll be hearing from us on the follow-up with a link to our um, hosting of the webinar and also the slide decks for you to access and help circulate internally. Thank you for joining today, and I hope you have a wonderful week. And thank you, Steve, for joining, too. Thank you. Thanks, guys.